school, we are excited about STEM. STEM stands for Science, Engineering, Technology, and Mathematics. And we aim to make sure that our students are globally competitive so that they can be college and career ready. We are excited to have our STEM day. Please come in anytime to view our STEM program. Just thank you so much for UPS for sponsoring us and we look forward to seeing you here at the big game. When you're part of the club next year, just remember, you also have to work as a team. We have a pledge, and the team has to learn what was the first Lego League core value. And the first thing is very important, they must be able to work as a team. Uh, okay. Our objectives is to, to make Wally go down there and hit all the pins as possible. And if she if she knocks down all six pins, she receives 70 points for that. But if she only knocked down, she get 10 points for each pin. But if she knocked down all six pins, she gets 70 points. So let's see how many points Zakia can accumulate today. that is 60 years old or older. 60 years old or older, okay? How many of you have grandparents? How many of you have great-grandparents? Okay, let's say great-grandparents, your great-grandparents, maybe, senior citizen, okay? All right, hands down. And what do they like to do? Name some of the things you think your great-grandparents like to do. We, we, Read, that's a good one. Oh, watch TV. Watch TV. And uh, if your great grandparents are still working, put your hands down. Okay. But they're probably not senior citizen age yet. Okay? So if they're not working and they're sitting home, maybe doing things like bowling every day or gardening, or maybe they're sitting home quilting. Those are things they love to do, okay? This table all is related to senior citizens. How many of your parents sometimes cook and they forget and they leave the stove on? And they forget to turn it off. Okay, see how parents forget? And they are younger, right, than your great-grandparents? This stove represents, it's turned on. But if you had a robot, what do you think that robot could do? Because if you leave that stove on too long, what happens? It is burning. Yeah, it will burn. It will fire and it will burn the house back. So see how a robot can solve some of those senior citizen solutions? Who can tell me? How can we make this spoon better? What can we do? We're thinking like an engineer. How can we make this spoon better at digging a hole? Well, we could make a shovel, but the thing is, well, what does the shovel look like? What, we gonna never see the shovel? What, what can we do to this spoon to make it better? We got all the money in the world. We can do anything we want to do to this spoon. What can we do to make it better? Make it better? 
We can make another. That's very good. Who tell me what is this spoon made out of right now? Plastic. It's made out of plastic. Uh, hey, shh. It's made out of plastic. Now look here. If you go out and you continue to dig with this spoon right there, who tell me what is going to happen? It's gonna break because it's made out of plastic. So to make it out of milk. That's Now, before we have you thinking about engineers, the first thing you have to know is, what is technology? So does anybody know what technology is? It's electricity and fire. Okay, electricity, like the light, three days. Uh, does anybody else know what technology is? Okay. Like the computer. Anybody else know what technology is? Very good. It means to reuse something. So look, all of these little cities up here, people have reused materials and made cities out of them. How many people think they can do that? That's good. One day you're going to have to do that. All of these things are made out of recycled materials. Right here. There are going to be Legos. But listen, it's not just playing Legos. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make different things. You're going to have to use a blueprint. Just like somebody making a car, make those cars over there. Somebody had to follow some instructions. You want to follow some instructions in order to make some of these. Now the thing about these is these actually have motors. If you saw the robotics team out there, these have motors. So, as an engineer, these are some things that you do. You ask yourself, you imagine, you plan, create, and you improve. Those are all the things that you did when you were trying to design your shelf to hold your award. You use the engineer design. And when using the engineer design, you ask yourself, you ask yourself questions. How can I? How can I? You imagine. You imagine some type of solution to your problem. Then you imagine the solution. You come up with a plan on how to solve that theory? 200 years. 200 years. So, does all technology require electricity? No. No. Huh? No. How do you know? How do we know from our definition? Because it, it it's alternative. Alternative. And you what? 200 years. Okay. 200 years. So, does technology, is technology electric? No. What are some objects we see that represent technology? Thank you, materials. Oh, I 
So we got it is. Oh yeah, that's okay. Go ahead. Yeah, he did tell me about the green house. Y'all went to for the last most of the time. Y'all went to for the last most of the time. But even when it takes you from the feeling, the problem is that students are jumping up and touching it. So here's what you need to build. Listen carefully. Don't worry about what they're handing out or you won't know what to do. You're going to have to build a cage to go around the projector. The tallest and will be like a square to go around the projector is going to be the winner. But let's see. It says the width of your gate or your cage cannot exceed two and a half feet. So that's like this big around. I'm gonna tell you, it'll probably end up being a square with your noodles. I'm gonna give you a clue because the last group had a hard time with this, so I'm just gonna help you. Um, your only materials that you're using to build, the ruler is just to measure. No. no. So how many noodles do you think you're gonna have to use to make it? Four. Four. You're gonna have to use your marshmallows and your noodles. You only have a little bit of tape again. So go ahead, I'm gonna start the timer. Let's try to work a little more quiet. All right, go ahead. to make it strong and then you can keep building up. So I'm going to give you about five or ten more minutes to keep going because it looks like you're getting it, okay? All right, go ahead. Be sure to tell your teacher that Mr. Gray said you did a good job on designing our shelf. Thank you. 